you know, if Dad, if Dad had a determination to go somewhere, he would go no matter how steep it was. He would take a run. All of us would be in the car. Sometimes we got to get in the car. He would make a run, and that would be over in the ditch. Down the side of the road. And then if he couldn't make it, he got back down there, and he would fly backwards. <laughs> he always made it. He had, he had the grocery store, you know. And uh, he had that old that old international pickup truck. That's the one you fell out of. That old flatbed or that old flatbed, yeah. And the pickup is a farm flatbed. And the wind Tell that story, man. The wind rolled out. The wind rolled out, you know. I mean the night of the the uh the windshield windshield rolled out. Windshield rolled out. <laughs> then you rolled out the side windows, you know. They rolled out. That's you that was your burn up in that car <laughs> in that truck. So we stopped and picked up old brother Johnny Heron. We were going to Nathdale Church. No, going to going to Blackhawk Church. And Matt was sitting on the back. Well, we all sit on the back. The only time that we quit sitting, well, the time we quit sitting on the back, we were at uh, Blackhawk at the church, and there was a guy coming uh, coming around that curb and hit the back end of that pickup truck. Nobody had their legs off at that time. And Dad said, there's no more riding. Oh, nobody did that time. Yeah, nobody, nobody riding with them more. legs over anymore. Maybe you know it. So, so Matt was, uh, he went, like I say, we was all sitting there, you know, on the, on the back in that truck. And uh, old brother Johnny Hurd was sitting in our cane, cane bottom chair that Dad had fixed to for the city and you know. In the back of the truck? In the back of the truck. Oh, that's yeah. where they got that, the idea. Yeah. That was uh, that was the that was the bus. Yeah. Oh okay. Or, or somebody, every every night somewhere we went to church. You know? That's right. Okay. It was church somewhere every night. That was our recreation. Right. Every night really. Well we liked it. Some, so, yeah. some of them did. So brother Johnny had a nice old hat. I mean a, you know one of them old studs of hat. And it blew off. <laughs> he walked off to get uh. <laughs> when he walked off, mush. He's never been the same since. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Paul? So they got Matt and took him and laid him in Mom did, and did Dad's bed. Did he fall out of the truck? Oh, oh, the we walked off the back of the truck. <laughs> and oh, people right. come in and started praying for him. Three days of nights. I mean, and he couldn't see, right? He couldn't see for a while. Yeah, it was not not after they prayed, but after they prayed for him, I see what was going on. I tell you what, God God moved. But there was another time Man. Matthew was real sick, and uh, and at the that time we didn't have the bathroom. You know, the bathroom wasn't there. Yeah, and uh, he must have only been. Mother, mother tell me, I don't, I don't remember, other than mother tell me, I don't remember, remember the incident. He got deathly sick. And uh, they had him in a crib uh, on the, would be the side toward the, the, the road uh, up against that wall of the bathroom. And you know, you didn't have the medication that you do today anyhow, so but they prayed, they, they prayed for him and God healed him. Yeah. Prayed for him. That's why it's bad, he almost died. We were we were uh, going Captain to school in Longley. Kept him around for nothing. Jack, myself, and Don. We were going to school in Longley. And again, Bob. Longridge. I never huh? heard of that. Like go to where the old depot was at Black at Blackmont. <coughs> one room school there. Yeah. One room school. Yeah. School there. yeah. Sadie Hall was a was the principal <coughs> and the oh, teacher okay. though. You know where Sadie Hall was. Oh, I know Sadie Hall. So, so we <coughs> we were all. We went to the old international truck. <laughs> so we we were going down, and uh, we went to church, uh, uh, the school. Mom took us down there, and she had either one or two gallon of milk sitting in the, <coughs> in the floorboard of a fifty or forty nine uh, Ford uh, car. 
I bought both of them. And uh, going back home, one of them turned over. And she was reaching to get it. Water and she water. went over that bluff there at the, on that Black Mock Hill. Went down there and hit a, hit a tree. Broke her back, broke her arm, cut her, you know. And they took her home. People started coming in and praying for her. And the Lord healed her back and healed her arm. They went to the doctor. She actually took the telephone bars up. Absolutely. All, all, all the, all the, as she went over and then she took the telephone bars up. Wow. Well, she took them all out, but what actually probably saved her was the nose of the car was sitting on the bank and the, the rear bumper caught the glass that didn't break of the, of the wires. <laughs> and uh, the sailor guy that lived up there before you start up the hill heard the crash and went to her and got her out before that car snapped and before the wire snapped and fell on the railroad track. I think I was in school. Wow. I tell you what, guys, what God has done for this family. One time I was we can we cannot. What there's no do? way. There's no way that we can turn our ourselves and look a different direction. What, is still what God has done for this family. There's no way that I can turn around and say there's nothing to God. And God, I mean, hey, what? It's just, it's it's phenomenal to know what God's done.